hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good because i'm doing amazing <laughs> you guys um i'm going to nello's house to go and pick my kids because she came to pick my kids to her house to play then i have to go and pick my kids back but before then let me show you guys some decorations and renovations i did in my house that i did not tell you guys about okay so you guys already know this living room yeah i've shown you guys this part but after the living room like once you come out of the living room that's the staircase there then we have this landing area that's my kids room and this is elizabeth's room so if you're following me on instagram you would have seen a video of this place i love this place so much you guys like this is so beautiful i did maybe i'll just play the video here so that you guys will see the whole thing but at the end of this video i'm going to show you guys a tutorial of how i made this thing this um, black and white silhouette so this bench was done by yuli interiors i don't know if you guys can hear me this bench was a yuli interiors i got this tropilo cover from hello homes i think that's their name i got this plant from oriental effects oriental effect i got this basket from my friend one time and yeah you guys these curtains here i'm sweating so much but anyway these curtains here they were the curtains that were inside my parlor before the long wall to ceiling floor to ceiling um curtains that was very long so we decided to you know do two curtains there instead and put this long one here but i had to cut it so i cut it myself i think i'll show you guys a clip of that but i had to cut it myself after cutting it i sewed it and folded it Those flowers, I also got them from Oriental Effect. Then this wooden finish for the floor, this wooden finish, I got it from a vendor on Instagram. Yeah, I don't think I'll tell you guys where I got the floors from because the person annoyed me. They even took my money, they refused to refund me. Like they overestimated what I needed and they refused to refund me their remaining. So I'm not gonna tell you guys where I got them from, but the floors are actually quite good. But there are other vendors on Instagram where you can get the floors, okay? And yeah, we had to install it ourselves. It was my me and my husband and our security man that installed it. It's just with glue and you just put it down and glue it and it looks really good because this tech is before had one kind of dirty looking tiles that i couldn't just deal with so i changed it to this um, staircase so the wooden floors are two colors the top one is a darker brown the light the down one the one that's the one facing is a lighter brown we went for the lighter brown because the tiles down there is a uh, cream color so we wanted the lighter brown to be the part facing but i love the floors they're actually very very good like very durable this is something that the owner of this house is going to enjoy because it will last forever ever ever except they want to retile the house or something or they want to just remove it you can actually remove it and just clean it up like if the glue is the glue you can remove so it didn't spoil the floors so yeah it's a very rental friendly renovation uh -huh. This thing here, I actually put skating. This skating they call it, or I forgot they call the name. But this thing, I think you guys have seen in the video where I put it. That is this thing. I put it here, and then we painted here a different color. This is the color that is in my living room as well. I didn't want the house to just be all white, simply because I like all white though. But it's, it gets dirty easily, and when you have kids, and this staircase is one place that my kids touch the wall. Not just my kids, everybody in this house, except me and my husband, they touch the wall. So. Because this is here, I noticed that this thing is actually stained now, but you guys cannot really, really see it because this is where they touch when they are climbing up, you know. But up here is still clean, pure white. Uh, we did this all the way down. 
you know, there. And I like it. I came up with the idea as well. I think people have asked me, like, how do I get inspirations for my house and stuff like that. Pinterest, okay? Aside from Pinterest, anytime I come across a fine house, I'm always staring, I'm always looking. Whether in real life or in pictures or in videos or in YouTube, Instagram, anywhere I see fine house, I'm always looking, I'm always screenshotting, I'm always saving. Not because, oh, I have house on the way that's coming, of course, I've seen some comments about, oh, I'm sure this is them are already building their house. No, we're not building shit. <laughs> There's no house on the way, okay? Because I've heard people say that I'm like, okay, thank you guys. I know that you guys are coming from a good place. It's positive wishes, but there's no house that we're building anywhere. Um, yeah, so, um, but I just screenshot it just for future future references. And just one thing about screenshotting, you know, find pictures and find houses is that it changes your men your orientation somehow but you would not know so when you, anytime you want to decorate any small space even in your existing house or let's say you build now anytime you want to decorate spaces you don't even need to start going for references like somehow it's almost like you've trained that part of you to be able to come up with nice ideas okay so that is how i am able to get um inspirations anytime i see fine house so like I have a building mansion, it's not like I'm doing anything, but anyway, I see fine house, I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna screenshot it, I'm going to, you know, try to find out how they did it. So that's why when it came to my own, you know, renovations and stuff, I was able to come up with designs that worked for my space. I would call my design style or my design inspiration minimalist-ish, okay? <laughs> minimalist-ish, not minimalistic. Minimalist is show. So I like a minimalist, I like a good minimalist design, or I gravitate towards minimalist designs. However, I have to be practical, okay? I always try to be practical for my lifestyle for because I have a family, I have kids, okay, small kids. So you cannot come and be doing all white everywhere. Like you can't you can't do that. <laughs> or lightly colored things everywhere. No, you can't do that, okay? So because I have small kids, because of my country that I live in, I live in Nigeria where we have dirt, like actual dirt. I have a farm here, we have actual dirt here. It's not like a border and just have dust. No, we have actual dirt here. In fact, sometimes we even have black suit problem here in Potako. So I have to go with the best of both worlds, okay? Now what that means for me is that there are places in my house where I go full on minimalist. Like I don't mind having a blank wall or I don't have, I don't mind having the barest minimum in a particular space. While in other spaces, I do the most if I want, okay? But not too much, but I go all out for some certain spaces, like up here now, that place I showed you guys, I really like that design there. One of the reasons why I even put that design there is that my kids always play there and it's close to this staircase area. So just to prevent them from coming too close to the staircase, that was why I said, let me even do something there. So we have this flower there and the bench and all of that and it looks like decoration so they don't even go there sometimes they go there to sit and wear their shoes um, but that's pretty much it they don't, they don't really go there so yeah two i killed two birds with one stone um yeah so like i said i'm not really against like blank walls i have blank walls here but this thing now kind of made it look like it has a design um but yeah that's pretty much it so i gravitate towards minimalist design clean lines clean houses you know i'm not really a fan of too much color i like neutral colors as well however i'm not one of those people that like all those white and beige eh, 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 aesthetics like nah it's not me i just white brown beige in fact brown is even too much for them you see that white and beige aesthetics i don't like it, it to me it's like it's too dry it's too boring it makes I don't know, it makes everywhere look somehow like, like, I don't know, I don't like it. So, <laughs> that's me personally. I don't like white and beige aesthetics, even though I like white and beige. I try to incorporate other colors into it, okay? So, is it that I go for a pop of color, or I go for three colors in a space, or I add more neutrals? But yeah, I don't mind a pop of color. I'm not a fan of white and beige, like I said, okay? So another place I did that I've not shown you guys is this side. So this is that thing still going on. I don't like as this dispenser here is here. I was supposed to buy a new one. I wanted this dispenser to be inside there before, but my husband said no. And actually it makes sense to be here because my kids fetch out all the time. They cannot be entering there and coming out all the time. So we cover this staircase area with this white board. So here is actually storage for my husband. Yeah. So this is his storage. So that's his storage and this is a door that now leads 
to a store. <laughs> so inside here we have all kinds of rishi 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 inside here. Um, but yeah, this is one of the you know changes we made in this house that I actually like. Like I like the fact that here is covered. It now makes here look neat because it's one thing to have a clean house, and it's another thing to have a neat looking house okay because nothing is dirty there but if everything was showing here would have looked like a mess okay so that's another tip for you if if you need it <laughs> but yeah and i like that he has storage here as well so inside here he has all his tools and everything he needs for you know work like the manual labor kind of work and uh, yeah that's the staircase so like i was saying before the reason this ground is kind of yellowish that's why we went, we went, that's why we made the face of this thing to be a little bit brighter than the top. Top is dark. And again, we're going to be matching the top more. So that's it. Um, then here is the entryway. I think I've shown you guys this one in a different video. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the areas I have renovated in this house, I think. Is there any other space I've not shown you guys? No, that's it. That's, really, um, that's pretty much all the areas I've renovated and I decorated. So here is how to make a silhouette picture. So first, you're going to take pictures of yourself or your kids. Make sure you are standing in front of a blank wall, a white wall preferably, but just, even if you don't have a blank wall anyway, just try and make sure that you don't have so many things in the background because you are going to be removing the background and you want it to be removed easily on your phone app or whatever app you use to remove the background you can also remove background on canva okay i i prefer to take a profile picture that's turning to the side but you can actually take your full face i don't know but turning to the side looks better now when you get to canva open up the app and then just come down here you see where the route you might want to try just come down here and choose a4 documents okay so when the document opens you go to upload files and then you go to the files that you have already uploaded that is the picture that you remove the background from or if you haven't removed the background like i said you can actually remove background on canva okay now after that you import the picture into the document and then you go to edit photo okay under edit photo you go to adjust and then under adjust you go to the light part so you see where the rules brightness you take brightness down all the way to minus 100 okay because we are removing every brightness in the picture you increase the contrast to 100 we want the picture to really contrast from the background okay take the highlights down to minus 100 shadows minus 100 whites minus 100 and then the blacks we increase it to 100 because we want the picture to be very black and that's that's the setting so you can just screenshot this or save it you know or just watch the video again and practice it on your own but it's very simple you can add multiple pages and do for multiple pictures and when you are done you go ahead to export or share the image that's basically turn it into a file i usually use pdf print you can use pdf print or pdf standard so that you get the file and go and take it to the printer okay so i chose pdf print went ahead to download it and that's it so you go to your downloads and you see the file there so you can open up the file or send it to a flash or send it to your printer anyhow you want to send it just send it to someone who will print it for you so i printed my pictures on you know normal a4 paper with normal printers but if you can get professional printers like people that print pictures you can go to them and you know let them print it for you or you can you know do whatever you want you can also trace this that was my first option you can actually trace this and then paint it black with a paint brush however you won't really get some details right like this part of your kids hair you know that part where their hair is fluffy it's going to be difficult for you to paint that you know but you can actually just try it and just you know use dabbing motion there with your brush and that's it guys that's how you get your silhouette pictures it's so easy and it is very very beautiful if you have questions concerning all the things i showed you guys where i got them again like i said this flooring i'm not going to tell you guys where i got it from or i should tell you guys where i got it from so that people will avoid them no people will not say avoid them that's free publicity <laughs> that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching no i want to go out should i continue this vlog Okay, if I don't continue this vlog, then this is the end of the video. But if I continue this vlog, then see you in the rest of the vlog. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye!